Gather up your projects, settle in your favorite spot. It's time to stitch with Sarah at her stitchy Camelot. Let's celebrate each other, this community we've got. It's time to get down to Sarah's stitchy spot. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel where we will discuss and celebrate all things cross-stitch. Grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and join me at Sarah's Stitchy Spot. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Floss Tube number 57. It is Wednesday, September the 11th, 2024. I would like to take this moment to welcome each and every one of you to my Floss Tube channel. As I do at the beginning of every video, I'm sending all my love to my hardworking, deck-making husband for um, writing and uh, performing the intro song that you just heard. If you are new to my channel, uh, welcome. I hope you will like what you see and that you will subscribe, share, ring the bell, like, and do all the things that we do on FlossTube. For um, all of you that are returning, um, thanks so much for keep coming back. It, it, it means the world to me. Um, I, I always have that feeling in my heart on the days that um, I know I'm going to record that, um, that I'll be going out to, to see all of you and, and, and virtually stitch with you. Um, so, uh, so welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a lot to talk about today. Um, I have some life things and, and some new starts and uh, I have uh, kind of all the things. So let's, let's jump right in. Um, first of all, I did want to take just a moment and, um, and point out that this piece is the uh, floral motif sampler by the Scarlet House. It is one of, the, of my favorite uh, pieces that I've stitched. Um, I uh, often will have um, a comment that asked me what that piece is. And so I, I know I rarely uh, remember to say, but it is the floral motif sa um, sampler by um, the Scarlet House. Uh, so I wanted to just make sure that I did that. Um, so I, I had a wonderful little experience um, uh, a week ago. Um, I got to meet Andrew, the runner stitcher. He was um, visiting uh, in California with his boyfriend and his boyfriend's parents. And um, it just worked out, the stars aligned, that these two delightful young men <laughs> wanted to make the time to meet up with this old lady. But let me tell you, was she thrilled to death? Um, they are um, both named Andrew, which really made it easy for my mind. And, um, uh, he is Andrew, the runner stitcher. Uh, if you don't watch him, I sure encourage you to go over. He is just as delightful, if not more so, than what you see on his Floss Tube channel. It was a wonderful, um, it was just a wonderful opportunity uh, that, that again emphasizes the glory of this community uh, that we all love so much. Um, we had a nice lunch. Um, I probably talk too much as I always do, but I was so excited. I didn't want to leave. Um, I just, I just felt so grateful that I got to, to meet him and Andrew. And um, I have watched Andrew on his floss tube since it began, and I have loved to watch his growth uh, in stitching and his love of stitching, and also to follow his his running journey. Um, he is preparing to run uh, the Chicago Marathon, uh, a, a concept that um, I, I cannot wrap my head around, um, but we talked about that. Um, but I, I wish him all the luck, and I hope you will all be go and watch him and then be thinking about him in November when he does that long run. Um, they were just so, they were so inspiring to me as young people. Um, just they're they were so polite so kind so caring 
and um, I could go on and on and on. But anyway, it was a wonderful experience. And then I followed that up at the end of the week by going over to the Bay Area and my daughters and my granddaughter took me to see Wicked. I'll probably, uh, with all of that, I'll, I'll have shown a, a couple of pictures and Wicked was, um, well, it was just like, I, it, was, it was just wonderful. And um, I felt so loved that night. Um, but one of the, the, the wonderful surprises about it was having the opportunity to watch Mira, who uh, will turn 12 this month, but watch her um, as she just, her face just lit up. She was so excited to see, um, uh, this was probably one of the, you know, the, the biggest plays that she's seen. Um, and uh, it was, that was also a joy. And to sit, sit next to Eva and have Diane, um, Allison, I did not feel well and did not make it, which I, I, I missed you, Allison. But um, anyway, we had a great time. It's a great play. I love musical theater. I will never stop loving musical theater. So, okay. And then, um, and then the day after that, we had Zoom number four. And oh my goodness, they just keep getting more and more wonderful and, and more and more joyful. Our surprise guest floss tuber was Judy of JBW Designs. And um, of course, she was just as delightful as you all know she is. Um, but we had a wonderful time. And um, I'm, I'm just so glad that we've, 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 we've jumped into this pool of water. And um, like I say, always, I, I want to keep it going in some form or fashion that we can keep meeting and stitching together. So having said that, let's just go ahead and announce the 10 um, uh, viewers that I picked with the random thingy generator. And um, for the next one, the next uh, floss tube Zoom, I mean, the next Zoom meeting will be September 22nd. Uh, it will be 12 to two uh, Pacific Standard Time. And um, if I call out your name, if you will please go uh, in the drop down box below and fill out the Google form so that I have your email so that I can send you um, the link for the Zoom. I do want to say about every time I do these, I get one or two that say they never got it. I, my um, theory is that because there's a link in it, some of your carriers might um, uh, throw it into uh, spam. So just um, when you know that I'm gonna send it out, because I usually send it out about the beginning of the week before the Sunday that it's gonna occur, if you have not received it, uh, check there first, but then check with me and I will make sure that we get it to you. So without further ado, this is the, the next 10 names that I've drawn. Uh, number one is Alicia Ortwain Ween. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Number two, Mary Piette, uh, 5409. Mary, uh, when you, we meet up, you can teach me how to pronounce your last name. Number three is Karen Dash ED8VC. Number four is Thunder Giggles. Number five is Vicki Amdahl. Number six is Barbara Oliveri. So she sews quill four, eight, six, seven. Number seven is Jersey Girl Stitches, two, two, seven, zero. I'm so excited, Teresa. Number eight is user dash TB nine XG one VN eight G. Number nine is Afton Grove Knitter. And number 10, is Ellie Men 4238. So that will be the um, next 10 viewers. Um, so if you will fill out the Google form so that I have your email um, and then I can send you the link. Um, I, I, you know, I thought of something and it, it left me just as quick as I said it. But anyway, and then always remember to check your spam because I think that that might be a thing why every once in a while someone uh, doesn't get one that I've sent. Uh, so that, that will be our next group. And so I think while we've just made that announcement, we will jump in to the, um, 
giveaways that um, that I announced last time that were from Shelly Antique Needleworks of her new designs, and I have three winners for that. So let's t let's go over those. So the B E kind. The winner is QB6. So that's QB6. The winner of the Law of Kindness is Joanne McKendry3796. And you guys remember that I was talking about that uh, needle card last time and I didn't have the picture and then the little pin pillow. How cute is that? So that um, is the law of kindness. And then Delia Conger, the winner is Char J57. So if you guys will, um, that, that uh, those of you that I called out your name, if you will look in the drop-down box and uh, where my email address is and email me your address, I will get these into the mail for you. So congratulations and thank you all for um, participating in that and celebrating in um, Shelly's new designs. Okay, um, what have we got next? Um, I think, oh, I had some stitching from the past that I was gonna show you. It's just weird, I was just going through some things and I just found these things that I know I've made in the last 20 years since I've lived in this house. But this was, I, I must have been going to make a paper doll for Mira. And I think it's so old. Well, I don't know. But isn't she cute? And then I made the dress, but it never really stuck on as good as I would like. A little bit. But I think they were going to be paper dolls. But isn't that cute? Um, I can't see what I'm doing here. But that's all stitched. The, uh, the eyes, all of that is stitching that I did. And it looks like it was all hand done. But I really thought she was very cute. I'm not going to throw her away. I'm going to keep her. I don't know. Um, but anyway, and I don't know what pattern I used. I just found her by herself. Then, I think just because I've been thinking about having just enjoy, joined the Embroidery Guild of America, um, I actually found a piece that I had embroidered. And again, this has to have been in the last 20 years. And um, it's on this this product called Sticky Fabrisolvi, Solvi, Fabri Solvi, and evidently you can print on it. I would have to even read on how I used it, but you can print on it, and then you can put that, mount that on your fabric, and it's still on here, and and then, um, then you cut that away. Am I on the right side? No. Then you cut that away, and, um, and then it dissolves, just like the water-soluble waste canvas that I've talked about. So back in the day, I didn't know how to make pillows or anything, so I'm gonna make a pillow out of this. I think it'll be so cute, either for a grandchild or, uh, but look at the little tassels. I, anyway, so I was just really thrilled that I found that, and this stuff is majorly cool. Um, because then you can, you can then, you know, print an embroidery on anything. I'm still a cross-stitcher. Don't know how much I'll use it. But anyway, I just thought I would share those things with you guys. So, um, so speaking of shares, let's do our shares because we have some beautiful ones today. Okay, so the first one is Susan. And this is Blue Birds of Hope by Teresa Kogan. And she stitched it on a 16 count um, Ada Eucalyptus by Fox, uh, Fox and Rabbit. She left off the words and the letters and um, it's just beautiful. Thank you so much, Susan, for sending that in. And then um, Jeannie sent, uh, I think we showed this uh, in the past, but it was the Salt, Salt Box Quilt Sampler by Brenda Gervais. 
and um, but it is framed now and she did the framing and it was her first framing which is you, you guys know how I celebrate that and um, she stitched it on a 32 count lamb's wool linen uh, two over two and she purchased the frame from Michaels so Jeannie congratulations on the framing um, I think I've actually found a frame for one of my pieces um, I didn't have time before this floss tube to uh, get it ready, but I might have that next time, so I'm very excited. Um, Kathy stitched two pieces that she sent, and the first one is Colors of Water by Historisch Stickmuster, and um, where, where Kathy lives, the I'm going to say Poudre, P-O-U-D-R-E, Poudre River it runs through her city, and um, and she has spent a lot of time looking at that river and the changes in the river, and she thought that this piece reflected that and reminded her of that. So it's a beautiful piece. Her second is Elephant Safari by Modern Cross Stitch Art, and she did have the opportunity to go on a safari in Tanzania and um, saw a lot of animals, but was quite taken with the elephants. And so she, um, she stitched this piece as a uh, reminder of her time uh, on the safari. And they're beautiful pieces, and I, I just, I think that's wonderful. And then Tessa finished Ann Thomas, 1854, by Hands Across the Sea. It's on a 40 count bush tee by Jay's Cross Stitch. And I'm not even familiar with them. Um, she stitched it one over two with the uh, called for DMC. Her Instagram handle is, um, I will run it under here, is stitch underscore therapy 85. And um, this is a, a glorious piece, Tessa. I, um, oh, I want years and years left to stitch. I know that feels so greedy, but when you see a piece like that, oh, you just want to know that you'll have the time. But I can also uh, rely on Kim Goldman, the contented stitcher. She's sort of my rock that kind of brings me down to earth and says, you don't have to, you don't have to stitch the whole thing. I could do the bird. I could do any part of that and see some of that glorious stitching that I've done. So, um, Kim, uh, as always, I appreciate um, your, your wise, sage advice. So, anyway, so those are our shares. And then um, I wanted to do some shout-outs. And the first one is Steph of Lake Girl Stitches has started a floss tube. And her first floss tube is absolutely filled with eye candy of samplers. And she has such an array of samplers that she is working on. And um, is Sampler September, so we've all got samplers on our mind and we can't get tired of seeing more. So I encourage you guys to go over and check out Steph, Lake Girl Stitches. I'll have it, uh, I have a link down below. And welcome her, subscribe, uh, ring the bell and do all those things. Um, so I have, I actually have several new um, uh new floss tubers that I want to uh, shout out today. Uh, the, the next one is Stuart, and it's Stuart's in Stitches. He's Scottish. He's darling, um, and he's got two videos out. He has um, a wide variety of stitching, and um, one would hear that he has a cupboard full of project bags that he is going to slowly reveal to all of us in his floss tubes. Um, so uh, please go and, and check him out. Um, he is, uh, he's a joy. Uh, the next one is um, Kelly of Cosford Rye Stitchery. She did her first floss tube, a short, um, uh, a short one, but with her, uh, some of her new releases. And, um, and I encourage you, um, I know that you're uh, familiar with her designs and um, to go over and say hello and subscribe and welcome her and, and, and celebrate her new designs. Um, I wanted to mention, I don't know, I, you know, I wrote it down and I know I was just, when I do that, that means I watched something and I was just so overwhelmed by everything that was in it. 
Um, again, it's uh, Anna and, and, and Carolyn of uh, Curious Crafters, and I will put there, and it was particularly um, a floss tube number 55. Um, I just find these two women uh, fascinating. Uh, they are both so intelligent and so curious. And um, so if you're not watching them, please go over and check out that video <laughs> that tragically uh, in two weeks time, enough time has passed that I don't remember exactly um, what it was that excited me so, but you guys know me. Um, second, uh, and, and uh, I wanted to mention, um, Cross Stitch the Globe, Stephanie and Allison had their first year uh, floss anniversary, And um, I don't usually uh, mention all of these. Again, most of the time it's because I don't remember. But um, uh, both of those young ladies have made a, a real effort to, um, to grow and educate, uh, especially younger stitchers, um, in this wonderful hobby that we have. Um, and I, I salute you both girls for um, just the work and the time you put into it. Uh, not only uh, Stephanie uh, designs and has an Etsy station, an, an Etsy store. Uh, they're both uh, wonderful stitchers, but they have gone that extra step to try to help educate. And um, so I just, I just wanted to, to briefly say thank you, girls. Uh, I, I. I think what you're doing is wonderful and I hope you keep it up. So I think, I think I've gotten through all that. So we might be at my stitching. So we can try that. I'm gonna take a little drink and this is water. There are people of you that question that, but this is water. Okay, just say it. Okay, I had um, three new starts. And uh, two of them are, are kind of small starts, but they're starts nonetheless. I um, decided that I would uh, put one more prairie schooler on this piece of fabric. And I chose, um, which one did I choose? I chose, oh my gosh. I don't know which one I chose. This is crazy. It must be, no, it's, it's, it's this guy right here. So it is this guy right here. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. No, he's got a green coat on. Oh, it's Lantern Santa, that's right. It's this guy, because I knew he had a green, it's his green shirt. And because I've done so very little, I couldn't recognize from where. So anyway, so this was my, just my little start on him. And, um, and then someone uh, rightfully uh, wanted me to make sure, and there is no uh, line around this one as there are on a lot of them. I don't think there's a line around this one either. Uh, let's see. No, he doesn't have a line around him. And then this one didn't as well. So this is out of the Prairie Schooler uh, book number 215, A Merry Many Surprise. And, um, and so then I'll have three, and I think I'm just gonna do them as flat ornaments. So I've got three there. I've got my jack-o'-lantern. Um, so I, I, I still am thinking that perhaps by December, I still will have 12 ornaments. I know I have sort of, you know, not, I, I'm not doing the, the one a month kind of thing, but I think I'm very close. Um, so speaking of that, because um, uh, of Judy of JBW Designs um, being our surprise floss tube guest, um, I pulled out this, which is her Christmas Ornaments 5 book. It was a happy mail that I got, uh, I think a year or so ago. And um, I started one the day we did our Zoom and I have finished it. And so, um, but I do have a question about it. This is the, um, the finish. So I'm gonna hold that up really close. 
I had one mistake, and you can kind of see because this isn't perfect, but I, I wasn't going to take it out. So I'll do some type of circular finish. But for um, Mel, I just wanted to know if you thought I had enough fabric. It was tight, but, um, but I got it on there. So this is a 28 count. Angie, I've gone up to 28. Mushroom Light Mocha Lugana. And I did stitch that one over one. So it's, it's very sweet. So I purchased those um, white tins that Fat Quarter Shop sells that have the little hanger on them. And so what I'm thinking I, I can do is I can I can mount that on a small piece and then and then do a maybe a red fabric or you know a matching fabric and do that uh, that will fit right in the tent and then put that on top of it and I'll have an ornament. That's that's my plan. Um, and and like I said, Mel, I'm looking forward to uh, your answer if I if I had enough fabric for that. Um, okay, so those. Are my new, my, well, I have one more new start that I think um, I put in with my whips because I guess now it is a whip. So I will tell you about that when I get there. Okay, so my goodness gracious, I think we shall go to the laundry basket. So here we go. Um, and I'm going to intermingle this first one with some, with some wonderful um, happy mail. This is... Um, uh, Sewn in Friendship by Heartstring Samplery. And I have been doing this uh, one over one on a 25 count Lugana. I don't know the color, it's not, it's not marked. And um, I think I did work on this once since I've seen you last. So I think I probably got a little more done on the bird. And I, I know I put some more greenery down here. Uh, greenery that's actually supposed to be white. But um, it was brought to my attention because I showed you in my last video a beautiful pillow that, that this was one of those um, collaborations between two designers and that there was a second chart. And I, at the time, I, I didn't think, but I have plenty of fabric to do the whole piece. And, um, and Millie um, sent me, oh, here's the, she sent a beautiful card which I will show you here. Millie sent me the chart because she had two. So I now have the other half and it's by Plum Street Samplers, which says from my heart to yours. So it will be a token from my friend, from my heart, a token, yeah, for my friend, from my heart to yours. So Millie, thank you so much. I am I am very excited about this, and I'm looking forward to to stitching the um, entire the entire piece. So that is um, sewn in friendship, and uh, that is generally a um, especially in the last two months a happy hour stitch because of uh, of how I'm doing my samples. And I'm using the called for over dyed on that. I may have substituted maybe one that I, yeah, it's a mix of the called for over dyed. And this is 25 count mushroom Lagana. Okay, so that is that one. And then, oh, okay, here's my, here is my new start. If you guys remember, I, um, divided up August and September, and, um, and I've been working three days on either a whip or a new start of my samplers. And so, so far this month, um, I had the new start on like morning dew on a rose. Well, then I'll be showing you the other ones. Um, and this was that new start. So this was September 2nd, and this is the chart. This is a piece that I bought at Stitch North, and it's um, 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers, Leanne. 
and I made the decision to do this one over one on 25 count. It's an ivory, ivory Lagana, and I'm using all of the called for over dyed floss. So this is my start. I did put this stuff on Instagram. This is, this is a lot of stitching and it's a lot of color changes. But I love that leaf, that, that, that border will go all the way down. I, I, I am quite fond of these little stitches. So that's like morning dew on a rose and I just love the name of that. I think we've all seen a, a big, plump, beautiful, like tea rose with, with the droplets of morning dew on it. They're so beautiful. So this was three days, you know, pretty much three days work for that start. And um, I'm keeping it in the uh, floss tube, I mean, the project bag that I made um, for my um, Sherry's uh, 2024 cross stitch camp in June. That was the piece. And so many people have done this so incredibly for, um, for the Olympics and done very creative things. Um, I think um, uh, Catherine, Stitching in Costume, uh, did a, a, a beautiful piece. Um, I, I love celebrating all that creativity uh, where people can um, really make them very personal to them. Um, so my next was the sampler that I that followed um, my new start. So I worked on this the 5th, 6th, and 7th of September, and that is this monstrosity. It is big. And here's what I, I figured out and I'll show you. Because not only is it big, this is by Blackbird Designs. I'm stitching it on a 36 count Heartland. My picture this plus, I'm using the called for over dyed flosses. And I started this on November 19th, a couple of years ago for Betsy Klager's 60th birthday. Hi, Betsy. And um, it was hashtag Betsy is old Sal. Um, so, but here's what I've gotten done. And here's what I realized. So I'm gonna hold that up like that. I did this flower. There is a lot of stitching, and of course, these flowers go all the way around. So I did that. I did some alphabet, and then I did some motifs. So I did, no, no, they're up here. I did this one. I finished this one. And, and then, you know, I always, if I have a little thread left over, I try to stick it in a place that I can see where it goes. Do you guys see that breeze? It is so wonderful today in Northern California. The temperatures are in the low 80s and there's a lovely breeze. So that's little birds. And I really, uh, I know I say it about everything, but I really love stitching on it. But it is a big sampler. It is a real commitment. So that was for Miss Klager's birthday celebration. Okay, put that here. Okay. The next whip is, and I didn't show this last time. So I wanted to make sure I did. I think I forgot it. Is uh, Vince's um, Christmas stocking. I sew on this every Sunday. So I have six days a week to divide up uh, three days each for my samplers. And I'm stitching this on a um, 14 count Ada in uh, ivory, white, white ivory. Uh, I'm using the called for DMC and this is what I have done. So let's let you see Santa's face with all these 
dangling threads, but there he is with this holly around his cap and the animals on his shoulder and listening to the stories he's telling. Oh, I just love this. I can't wait to show it to Vince. Finished. So that is Woodland Storytime. It's by Cooler Designs. And um, it may start having to get a little happy hour time as well because um, I think I'm doing this on Markup XP. I think I'm like at 30%. So um, I, I don't think just my Sunday stitching is going to cut it. So probably have to add a little time to that, and that is just fine. So my next piece was, uh, again, a sampler that I worked on, and I started on this one on... Um, huh. Did I show this last time? I'm, I'm really wondering. Uh, let me look at something. I don't want to bore you guys. No, but somehow I didn't write it down and I can't figure out why, but we'll figure it out later. Okay, I am working on Jan Hicks Creates, Antonio Roselle y Garcia, 1886. You know what I bet happened? I bet, um, I bet I was working on it. Well, I don't know. That last uh, week in August, the last week, which would, that would be why it would be here. Okay, so that is, and I'm stitching this on 36 count, Hint of Orange by x Design, and I'm using Victoria Clayton Silks, and I absolutely love this. So I got quite a bit more of the alphabet done. Um, I think I finished all of this row. At, I mean, I know I did in this row. And then um, I always try to do a little border work. You can see the little blue down there. So I love this piece and I really want to get, get, get more done because I do intend to start um, uh, her other sampler that I purchased. Am I showing? I'm showing the front. Okay. So that is Antonia Roselli Garcia by Jan Hicks Creates. I don't know if you guys saw, she had a post, um, I saw it on Facebook, that she is, um, she's going to be moving to France. She and Mike are moving to France. I hope she gets a big house. She might have visitors. Um, okay, then my next piece, Again, this would have been a happy hour uh, stitch. Is um, Angel Armel by Maximum Pro Stitch because I'm I'm in this alphabet and um, I just I just had to pick it up and 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 do a couple. I love them, and um, I'm stitching this on a 36 count Heartland by Picture This Plus. And I am using Gloriana Hollyberry. And look, I got the B and the C is almost finished. So pretty. I just want to see, does that look that separated? Yeah, it does. Okay. Because see, look, it looked like there was a lot of room between here and here and not here. But it's, it's right. Okay. So that is... Um, Angel Armel by Maximum Cross Stitch, Ellen. I love that alphabet. I think, um, yeah, I did. I did this one wrong and I had to redo the whole letter. That was upsetting. Okay. All right. And then let's see what we've got next. Is, um, oh, again, a happy hour. Uh, but I actually gave it a couple of happy hours, maybe two or three. Is um, Courage, 
Have Courage by Cottage Garden Samplings. Part of the reason I, I had to end up spending a lot of time with it is because this border that I'll show you, I had also done wrong, this uh, dark red, and um, I couldn't leave it out. I mean, I couldn't leave it like it was. I just, I just didn't want to try to jiggle everything around it. So I'm stitching this on 36 count hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. I'm using the called for over dyed floss and I started this um, for uh, hashtag Pam survival cell and um, I plan to give it to a good friend who has dealt with breast cancer. So this is where I am. So I've got all of these flowers um, outlined. I brought up um, some green in here to here, this green is all new. So, I love, I really love stitching this. I know Lisa of Lost in Stitches, um, she just stitched this bird and it's beautiful. So that is Have Courage by Cottage Garden Samplings. All right, and now I think we're gonna get down to the last sampler that I, I pulled out. And um, I know I gave you a list of 10 and this one wasn't on it, but uh, I think I have, feel like I have a hair, sorry. Um, I just thought, you know, I haven't touched this for a while and, um, and I love it and it seems to be, as they say, a crowd favorite. So I pulled out Pandemic, and I've worked on it for three days. This afternoon will be the last of its three days, and I have loved every minute of it. So I think, if I look at it, I am, I can't even tell where I am. Oh, I think, I'm, I, think I am right here in this lower corner. I am. So I'm very close to the bottom here. And I'm stitching this on a 32 count Platinum Lugana, and I am stitching it one over two with a, a DMC a 310. So I will back up and kind of show the whole piece, and then I will try to fold it up into the area where I'm working. So this is what is completed. And then I will fold it yeah if I fold it like this this is the area that I um, am, have worked on so it, it got quite a bit of work in three days which is really fun They are just, um, I, I know everyone enjoys them. Uh, Andrew, the runner stitcher, is working on Saga. Um, well, I think probably most of us have a, have a long dog somewhere in our life. But um, anyway, so um, I, I was really happy that I thought about it and, 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 and pulled that out to include in, in Sampler September um, and to, to give it uh, you know, a good chunk of time I generally stitch on this after um, I film on Wednesdays, and um, but the last couple, uh, especially since August, uh, when I've been trying to work on my samplers, and that's the last afternoon for the third day of whichever sampler I chose, um, I haven't been, and so it was it really meant a lot to me to um, pull it out. So, and then the final piece is my. Um, is my two uh, two threads a day, which is two lengths of thread. So you know, if I, I'm stitching a one over two, so two lengths of one thread. Um, and if you're stitching with two threads, you would do two lengths of your two threads um, uh, in your piece. So um, this is uh, Summer at Cherry Hill by Brenda Gervais. 
I think I'm going to be maybe just a little more careful with the pieces that I pick um, for my two threads a day because I know you guys may be very tired of this piece. Um, but I'm so close now that, that um, obviously I, I really want to get finished. So she, um, uh, Miss Cherry Hill, has a lot more of her dress. So that's kind of where I am on that. Now, if you guys remember, I asked about these places up here that just have one or two stitches that I thought were, were gonna, you know, were like the highlights of, of the cherries, so where the sun reflected off. Most of you said to leave it, but what if I threw this into the mix? And I meant to put one thread in this morning just to see. It's not this color. It is wood rose, which is a light pink. So I'm going to have to put one in and, and really look at it and see how I feel about it, whether that should go or not. So I really thought it was going to be a light color, very much like that. And when I look at it, I just can't decide. Now that I know it's a pink, it looks unfinished to me without that pink in there. So that's kind of my thought. But um, we are almost to the bottom of the dress. And she'll have her little shoes and then I can work on that bottom section and we'll be all done. So that's Summer at Cherry Hill. And that is my two threads a day. I also have a focus piece, which is Oh Joyous Day. It will get, you know, seven days in the month. Um, and because it, this is just the uh, 11th, um, I, haven't, um, I haven't given it its full seven days. And I, I just didn't feel like I had done that much since I showed it to you last time. So, um, which speaking of o Oh Joyous Day, I know I always bring up Katie, the novel stitcher who finished hers. And today is Katie's birthday. Um, so happy birthday, Katie. Okay, so those, um, th those are my whips. Um, I feel like this is, um, I'm going through this very quickly, but um, that's the way it is. So I showed you the happy mail that I got from, from Millie, the, the other chart, the other piece to Sewn in Friendship. I got a lovely card from uh, Kara, and Kara was, uh, we have done a Zoom together now, and she sent this skein of caroling and, uh, by um, Classic Color Works. And oh my goodness, is that a gorgeous color. Oh. Thank you, Kara. Thank you. You didn't have to do that, but thank you so much. Um, I, I, did, I, I did purchase a couple of ch charts. Well, one I purchased and one uh, was a donation. Now let's talk about that for a minute. So Audrey of Stitch Stitch B has designed a chart. And it this is it. It is Jenny V D Vect. V, well, you can read that. Uh, 1930. And um, it's Cumberland Cottage Needleworks. And Audrey um, designed this. So congratulations, Audrey. It's so sweet and so cute. And I think it'll stitch up really quick. And we should always have a red sampler on the go. Um, and if you will go, if, you, if you're not watching Audrey on Stitch Stitch B, um, I again, I encourage you to do that. She is a beautiful stitcher. Um, she is offering this uh, only for a donation to UPAWS, which is a uh, organization uh, for rescues and taking care of animals in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, if I re remember that right. She put out a floss tube extra, and if, um, which gives all the information, and she has, um, uh, if you uh, email her the uh, receipt from your donation, then she will send you the link to pick this up. So, for, you know, it's, it's a great cause. I was able to do the donation in um, Chester's memory, so that was wonderful. And, um, and uh, Audrey, I celebrate you for um, helping out such a great organization um, with your talent. So, 
And then the other chart, I, I had to buy this because, um, boy, we really, um, we have a way of justifying everything. Um, but this is uh, Ellen's Maximum Cross Stitch M. Fayant. Fayant. It's French. I love uh, a French alphabet. I have a, a, a couple of pieces of Judy uh, JBW designs that I, I really uh, want to get as well, just to have as reference and, or, and to stitch. But um, the reason I really wanted this is because it brings back a, a, a lot of memories of Stitch North, wonderful memories, um, because she was actually working on this, the model stitch for this, um, during the three days we were together. So, um, those, those that have that much meaning, you, you just have to have. But I think it is so glorious because the, the, the colors with this light blue and then the darker blue in the, um, in the border, it, it's just, um, it's wonderful. So Ellen, beautiful chart. And um, so I did, I did pick that up. So my... My plans um, are to continue through the month of September. Excuse me, just one second. So this is what I have left. Um, I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to give three days starting tomorrow on Sally Spencer. Um, I'm going to start on the fifth of the sixteenth. I'm starting Winter Wonderland by Blackbird Designs. I've showed you that. And also Brenda, uh, the physical stitcher on um, Instagram, I know she's gonna be starting it. So if any of you that have it, that want to start it, need an excuse to start it, um, that would be um, great to, to pick up and throw in there. And then um, uh, this says little birds, but I put it in the wrong slot. So I still have three samplers that um that will be filling these slots one for sure will be ann campion um because i'm 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 gonna be dealing with the um uh the slub and um you know it has the one over one stitching and i have the 103s uh, already purchased to to um to do that lettering uh the lower uh, case alphabet is all one over one so um, so those, those are my plans and my goodness. Okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's, let's focus in here on the, on the closing. Um, this is, uh, you know, it's the 9-11. And so I just, um, I want to acknowledge, uh, the loss that we had that day. So, um, I don't, I don't want, I just want to acknowledge it was, a, it was a terrible loss for our country and, um, and the impact it had on, on so many. So, um, we just want to keep all those, um, that were left, you know, uh, in our hearts and our thoughts and our prayers, uh, because it was, uh, it was a terrible, a terrible day in our history. Uh, secondly, um, Sheila mentioned it, the Crow River Stitcher, but I, I, I want us to, um, you can go and watch her video, but she, she has uh, had, to, she's received a diagnosis of, of a cancer. And um, Sheila, we're, we're, we're all here for you. Um, I know that this community um, will uh, lift you up with prayers and love and good thoughts. Um, and um, so know that we're here. Um, there, there's been other, other things going on, uh, that I don't feel free to mention, but I just, um, but, but we sort of got some good news on part of that. So yay. Um, but again, uh, our community, uh, knows kindness and we know how to show kindness. We know how to love, um, we know how to be generous. And I think all of these incredible attributes are so important. I will never stop saying that we are a force to be reckoned with. Uh, so, 
Um, let's just, just keep doing, you know, the good work of stitching, the good work of reaching out, the good work of loving, the good work of being kind. And, um, and then we'll be all be doing our parts to, to make this uh, a better world. I think I have covered everything on the table. So um, I'm going to ask you to grab your stitching, get comfortable, and stitch what you love. I feel so very fortunate to have all of you in my life and going forward to having time with all of you as we stitch. So let's keep it going. Remember to put Zoom in your comment if you would like to be chosen to um, meet with us. And um, I love you. I love you a bunch. So bye-bye um, until next time. Can I get a bite? <laughs> Can I get another bite?